What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper Golf, talking a little John Deere Classic, specifically one and done. I know, I know, it's not the biggest event. It's the end of the season, but you know what? If you're in a one and done pool, unless you're completely torched and you haven't submitted a pit, pick in months, maybe you're just watching to support us, there's probably some money to be made. Still a lot of money out there on the PGA Tour. Open Championship will be here soon enough. So let's talk about the John Deere specifically. A couple of one-and-done targets. If you're joining us for the first time, all things golf. That's what we do on this Odd Chopper Golf channel. Check it out. We've got outright picks, matchup picks, one-and-done picks. Hit the like button. Subscribe. We're, we're a brand-new channel. We're growing quickly. Let's get into the board. I'm going to give you a quote-unquote safe pick, maybe a risky pick, and who I'm going with with one-and-done this week. I'm going to bring up the outright bar just as a guide. This doesn't mean bet these guys at these numbers. It's just a guide for one and done. Let's get into it. So you see it here. I'm at the top of the board. Safe? Uh, well, that's a relative term, but I am going to look to Denny McCarthy, uh, a guy that, again, he's 16 to 1. He's been very, very close this year. We've seen the putting for years. This is an elite, elite putter. And in this field, talent-wise, uh, what's there really to say? You look at Denny, and he's really, really represented himself well, not just in weak fields. And this is a guy that was second at the Memorial. He was seventh at Travelers. He has gained strokes putting in seven straight events, which is no surprise. And it's not just a little bit. It's massive, massive, massive strokes gained putting. He really checks a ton of boxes. And now he's coming to an event, uh, like I said, with, with a field that is pretty weak. He was sixth in 2022 here. Again, gain strokes across the board. It's not a far-fetched stretch to say that this is the moment for Denny to break through. He's a pretty obvious target. You probably have him available just because most of the fields uh, that he's in, little we, uh, you know, uh, again, you're not taking him in one and done at the Memorial or a major or something like that if he's even in those fields. So for me, Denny McCarthy makes a lot of sense here as a one and done pick if you want to go the safe route. So he's the first one on the board. Before we get to the second pick. Do you want to say and mention again, whether you're betting outrights or matchups or other sports, always take advantage of what's going on at all the books. Caesar Sportsbook would be one of them. They're one of many books that are offering first bet on them up to $1,250. That is their deal. Uh, again, 100% of your stake back is bonus bets if you don't win. Got to be 21 plus. If you have a gambling problem, call 100 Gambler. But those links are below. It's really important to take advantage of all these books and what they're trying to offer for you. So we've got Denny McCarthy on the board. Let's dive back into the board. Here we go. Part two. Let's get a little riskier. Again, I don't think you need to get stupid risky. And Grio is risky enough for society. 30 to 1 in the outright market. Again, I'm not, he's not on my betting card right now. Maybe he makes it in. But I do think as a one and done pick, he does make some sense. You're really just not worried about who do you have available in a field like this because chances are you have all these guys available. Rio, it's been a hell of a year for him. He won. He won the Charles Schwab. It was fantastic. Uh, a breakthrough. It's been a long time coming. He's had a lot of top tens and a lot of chances over the years. And he finally locked one down. And it's obviously because of his putting. His putting has been a weak link for a long time. And he has found a groove. He's gained strokes putting in the majority of his events lately. That is the catalyst. He followed that up with the, you know, he missed the cut at the U.S. Open. I would never anticipate him thriving there. 15th at Travelers, really good ball striking, really good putting. Comes to the John Deere with some momentum. He's playing very good golf. This is his type of golf. And if you don't believe me, again, it was one year. But he was runner-up in 2022. He gained strokes on these greens. He destroyed this course tee to green. Miliano Grio is doing some real good things for us. Uh, and I think that you got to consider him this week for one and done. So in addition to Denny McCarthy, don't be afraid to roll the dice a little bit with Emiliano Grio, another guy that I think checks a lot of boxes and is in consideration for one and done. Never thought I'd be saying that, but it is true. So we've got, and I'm back now. Look, there I am. Denny McCarthy and Grio. We got to find one more and where I'm going uh, for my one and done pick. Last thing I'll say, if you have questions about golf, other things like that, and you're saying, okay, I want to get involved more. We, you can always hop in our discord or insider access. It's right here. Bring it up on the screen. The link is below. Uh, just an opportunity to hang out. It's a fun community. Yes, we're giving picks. Happy to give advice, but we're also just sweating out golf. And, and if you just, you know, want to be a part of something like that, you can get that 50% off. It's a good time and a, a growing community. So definitely recommend checking that out. And I recommend going to bringing up the board. I think it'll be pretty popular. Give me, let me uncheck, not Cam Young. Don't do that. 
even though he's very, very dangerous. I'm going to go to Aberg. Uh, I would expect a lot of people are going to do this in one and done, but he does make a lot of sense. Again, for the third time, yes, he's going to be available unless you used him uh, like last week, which I guess is possible. He came in 40th at Rocket Mortgage. He's got to fix the irons. He, he bled pretty badly uh, with the irons in two straight here. It's off the tee game. It's a short sample size. It's like Hovland, Rory, Super Nuke, absolutely destroying off the tee. Putting is hitting miss. Around the green looks pretty solid. Again, this stuff is going to change rapidly. But if this guy sinks up his irons, best finish on tour for him, I don't think is even a remote stretch, uh, considering he's made five straight cuts, but he's got nothing inside the top 20. For one and done, we need that money. We need that top end money. But at 28 to one, uh, you know, six and a half to one for a top five, I think it's pretty clear that Aberg can get in the mix. I actually expect him to put it all together one of these weeks, like a lot of people do. So for me, for one and done with only, you know, 1.3 million up top, it's not an elevated event or anything like that. I think it's a good week to kind of just tread water unless you really need to get crazy. Just maintain, try to move up the board a little bit. And a guy like Ludwig Aberg does just that. And he is my one and done pick for the John Deere Classic. There you have it, friends. Talked about McCarthy. Talked about Grio. Talked about Aberg. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you did, if you have questions, at JazzRazDFS. Happy to help out, answer any questions that you may have on Twitter. And I hope to see you around these odd chopper golf streets. But for me, for the golfers, and for the John Deere, enjoy all of the tournament. Come back next week with the fourth major rapidly approaching. It'll be here soon enough.